Hey YouTube, it's ICU2 here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get your device running on iOS 4 GM or iPhone operating system for Gold Member for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Uh, and this works for the iPhone 3GS and 3G and the iPod Touch second and third generation. Sorry for the iPod Touch first generation and the iPhone first generation. You guys are out of luck. But uh, if you have that device, then you can continue. And I'm also going to show you how to jailbreak just the iPhone 3G after uh, you've upgraded to, to iOS 4 GM. So get uh, both iTunes 9.2 beta and the correct firmware. I'll have a link to that in the more info. And I'm not trying to claim the links. They're not mine. I'm just putting them up there. So just letting you guys know that. And then just basically open up iTunes after you've finished installing it. And I'm going to go to About iTunes to show you that it is indeed iTunes 9.2 F1 45 beta. So in order to do this, you're going to have to connect your device and put it into recovery mode, meaning you continue holding down the home and the power button. Okay, so now my iPhone's in recovery mode, and it says iTunes has detected an iPhone recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. So click OK and then uh, hold down Alt and click Restore. And by the way, this only works for Mac as of now. Find uh, the iPhone iOS 4 VM and select it and then click Restore. And then it'll say verifying iPhone restore with Apple for a while and then it'll go into preparing your iPhone for restore. So now it says preparing iPhone for restore. And now it says it's waiting for your iPhone. And I'll give you guys brief updates, but I'm going to be cutting out a lot of it. And now it says preparing iPhone software for restore. So now it says it's restoring iPhone software, and it's giving me a little progress bar there. So now it's verifying iPhone software. And the bar on my actual iPhone is a little less than halfway. So now it's done verifying, and it says restoring iPhone firmware. And the bar is a little over 75%. So it just said that my iPhone was finished restoring, and I'm going to be back when it's completely turned on. It's giving me a little bar right now, so I don't know what's up with that. Then I'm assuming after that it'll turn on, and I'll show you guys on my camera what it's all about and how to jailbreak. Okay, so it worked, and now it's saying set up your iPhone, and I'll do that later. And it says iPhone is activated, so I'm going to slide over and show you guys that I truly am on 4.0. So I'm going to go into settings. And then I'm going to go to general, and then about, and then I'm going to scroll down. And as you can see right there, well, I don't know if you can see, but I'll try and make it so you can. It says 4.08A293. So now I'm going to show you how to jailbreak it, so I'm just going to quit out of I. So in order to do this, you're going to actually have to point red snow, uh, the 0 0.9.5 beta 4, at the iPhone OS Beta 4. So to download the iPhone OS Beta 4, go to this website, and then uh, your device obviously is the iPhone 3G right here, and then just hit the download right there. And then it'll download the torrent, and then in order to actually use the torrent, you need something like Transmission. So I'll put a link to Transition and the more info as well, and all you have to do is just take that torrent, just drag it over Transmission, just click OK, and then just click Add and then wait for it to download. So now it's done downloading and now it's just seeding. So I'm going to click pause and then all you have to do from here is just click show in finder and then just drag it to the desktop and it's as easy as that. So now what you have to do is you have to download Red Snow 0 0.9.5 beta 4. So in order to do this you can just google it and I'll also have a link in the more info for that. So just google Red Snow with a zero 0 0.9.5 beta and then go to the first link and then scroll down and then download links Mac OS X and it says nine seconds remaining okay so now all you have to do is just click show and finder drag it to your desktop or wherever you want or you can easily find it and I'm gonna exit out of iTunes open red snow click open and then browse for the firmware and then get that beta 4 firmware that I showed you guys it just has a 4B at the end of it. Click open and then it will process your firmware and then just click next. 
So yeah guys, now that it's started up, I'm just going to select install Cydia, then continue. Then only continue after this point if your device is powered off. Then once it is, click next and hold down the power button for approximately 5 seconds. Then start holding down the home button for an additional 10 seconds and continue holding the power button. Then let go of the power button once it prompts you to. And you have to keep holding the home button. Then once this little message goes away, uh, you can let go of the home button, it's fine. It usually goes away before 30 seconds. And I'm going to skip past almost all of this because uh, it's going to take up too much time, guys. Sorry, but it actually does work. So now I'm at the slide to unlock screen, and I'm just going to unlock it. And if you scroll over, there's Cydia. It's white. Sorry, guys. But, uh, yeah, now this is the classic reorganizing Cydia thing. So, yeah, guys, this is ICU2 signing out. I hope this helped you.